Honorable Minister Baines, uh, your amnesia is unacceptable. Uh, Ms. Sharon said Chair. that she spoke uh, Beginning our second round, uh, which consists of six members with various times. Mr. Cooper, you have the floor for five minutes, please. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Former Liberal Minister Baines, you continue to be less than forthcoming about your active involvement in hand-picking conflict-ridden Annette Bersharon as chair of, the, of SDTC. You have repeatedly represented uh, that you got a recommendation from PCO, and it was only thereafter that you made the decision to appoint Ms. Bersharon as if your role was passive, but that isn't true, and you know it not to be true. You received a list of five recommended candidates from PCO in March of 2019. You ignored that list, and in April of 2019, you contacted Ms. Versharon and asked her to apply for the role. It was only thereafter that Ms. Versharon applied. It wasn't PCO that reached out to her, it was you, and that is detailed in the Ethics Commissioner's report. So why do you continue to mislead committee? Thank you very much uh, for the question. As I've indicated, uh, these names were recommended by PCO. Uh, they went through the vetting process. As the PCO official has indicated, over 100 people applied. And so this was open to everyone. And this was a process that people could... Minister, uh, former position, Liberal uh, Minister Baines, you hand-picked her. That is established in your misleading committee, and, and that's now very clear, just as you continue to not answer questions. So I'll, I'll move on. Who asked you to contact Ms. Fersheron to apply to, as chair of the Green Slush Fund? Who was it who called you to tap her on the shoulder? Was it someone in the PMO? To answer that question, as I stated in my opening remarks, I don't recall any such conversations, but it's not uncommon for me to speak with multiple people, even for the same role, to apply. And as the for, former counsel, Liberal Minister Baines, uh, I'll move on since uh, you can't recall this, you can't recall that. Maybe there is something you will recall, and that is that you knew that Ms. Versharon had a conflict of interest in that her company and our store was receiving $12 million in funding from SDTC at the time of her appointment. You knew that, and you appointed her anyway. Isn't that right? Ms. Versharon's credentials are well known. Uh, all that information Former Liberal public. Minister Baines, I didn't ask about... Ms. Versharon's credentials, I asked you whether you knew that she had a conflict of interest at the time, but you made the decision to appoint her. Yes or no? As I've stated, Ms. Versharon went through the vetting process. Her name Her was recommended. Liberal Minister Baines, I asked you a yes or no question. Did you know that she had a conflict of interest at the time that you appointed her as chair point, of SDTC? Point, point of yes order. or no? Point of order, Mr. Chair. I have a point of order, Mr. Cooper. Yes, Ms. Khalid. Uh, on two, uh, two separate points. Uh, the first uh, is with respect to respect of, uh, of witnesses as they come before our committee. I have uh, heard the member opposite um, say a, a lot of interesting things and pose a question that he thinks is a question or is actually a statement and not allowing the witness to, to answer the question. And your second point, Ms. Khalid? Uh, is on relevance, Chair. Well, okay. I mean, uh, as I've said, I, with, with, with some back and forth, um, members... And courtesy, uh, members are entitled to try to uh, press witnesses for more specific answers. Something Mr. Cooper's doing, and I, 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 I think we're here today to answer these questions. So I'm not sure the relevance. But look again, this is uh, this is this is going uh, well in that uh, members are being allotted time, and uh, Mr. Baines is providing answers that some members wish to probe further. So Mr. Cooper, you've got just under two minutes left. It's a yes or no question, former Liberal Minister Baines. Did you know that she had a conflict of interest at the time of her appointment? Yes or no? Again, these names were presented to me. They went through the vetting process. 
And based on that, I made a recommendation. General Minister Baines, uh, your amnesia is unacceptable. Uh, Ms. Fisher said Chair. that she spoke to you. Point of order, Chair. Just, yes, Ms. Khalid. That's quite disrespectful, Chair. Ms. Khalid, um, I, I, I did anticipate this meeting would be a little bumpy because we're, we're dealing with a, a, a former official who I'm certainly glad has, has appeared today. Um, uh, Mr. Baines is not unfamiliar with the push and pull of, uh, of, of this place, uh, so I'm, I am confident he's going to be able to uh, respond to, uh, to, Mr., to Mr. Cooper, and I'm not, On that I'm, point, and I'm, not I'm not worried about Mr. Baines' ability here, but yes, On that Ms. same point, Chair, it's not yeah. about whether a witness is able to handle rudeness or not. It is the conduct of our committee that that concerns me and you know I, I, in public accounts i i would prefer that we are respectful to anybody and everybody whether we agree with them yeah. or disagree with them that come before our committee yeah. to be respectful regardless but but miss khalid you you would agree there's lots of testimony out there that is contradictory and members uh, i think on both sides are pressing as hard as they can for 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 clarity or as mr duran likes to say truth so I'll turn things back over to Mr. Uh, Mr. Cooper for a minute and a half. I apologize. I cannot hear the question. Oh, oh just, just one second. Uh, the witness could not hear you. So if you could turn your microphone on, and I will give you your time back at a minute and a half. Go ahead, please. Former Liberal Minister Baines, the Ethics Commissioner's report says that Ms. Versharon specifically raised the fact that she had a conflict of interest with you. Are you claiming you don't recall that Ms. Versharon raised that with you? Um, again, Mr. Chair, I've answered that question a number of times. I've been crystal clear that the names that were recommended to me were gone, went through a vetting process. Again, that's the, question the answer was I provided. Whether, or I asked you, do you not recall that conversation? Do you not recall that Leah Lawrence the former CEO of the Green Slush Fund spoke to officials in your office and that the manager of communications and projects at SDTC also informed your office of Ms. Versharon's conflict. Do you not recall any of that? Did none of that get to you? You just, is that what you're trying to represent? Again, Mr. Chair, as I said in my opening remarks, I don't recall having such conversations, but it wouldn't be uncommon for me to encourage multiple people to apply for roles. I think it's important to note. I would put it to you, former Liberal Minister Baines, that you knew full well that Ms. Versharon had a conflict of interest, and you simply didn't care. And as a result, you appointed someone who was conflict-ridden, and that set a culture, a culture of conflict that led to conflict after conflict, mismanagement and corruption at SDTC chronicled in the Auditor General's report. So thank you, you Mr. Cooper. Any responsibility that is for that, your those time. I'm afraid findings? that is your time, Mr. Cooper. 